Travis? I'll only put the tip in! So we are here to talk about the movie Knuckle Bones, a demonic slasher movie written and directed by Mitch Wilson. Now this is a 2016 movie and stars a actress simply called Julin. One name, that is it. And she is the kind of the main character. She's basically a young girl who has a suicide attempt because she split with her boyfriend and basically couldn't take it anymore. And uh, she and a bunch of kind of friends and these couple of guys they pick up decide they're going to go and investigate this uh, old abandoned garment factory. The rumours were basically there was a massacre out there at one point, and of course there was. And it's actually uh, the the summoning ground of this particular demon called Knuckle Bones, who is originally was thought of as a some kind of like um, Nazi supernatural weapon, basically of kind of mass destruction. So I thought it was a kind of quite quite, quite a neat twist and. Um, Obviously, it goes on the rampage and kills a bunch of folks in gruesome fashion, and that's pretty much a movie. So, what do I think about Knuckle Bones? It's a lower budget film, so obviously, you lower those expectations in regards to things like production value. But let's talk about the positives uh, of this movie first of all, and then we'll go on to the negatives. Positives, first of all, um, this has some pretty imaginative gore effects. I don't think they're necessarily massively realistic looking, but if you like sort of fun gore effects a la Peter Jackson's early work, uh, the original Evil Dead films, that kind of thing, then pretty much I feel this film may itch that scratch. I also feel it harkens back to the days of um, Freddy and Jason, that kind of slasher. Um, Basically, the guy, the knuckle bones, is actually a demon, but he's kind of wisecracking and uses kind of human weapons and things like that. So he is more akin to a slasher rather than what I would typically think of as a sort of a demon, if that makes sense. And the, and the, basically, the actual makeup is just a guy with kind of like skeletal uh, makeup. So it kind of looks just like a guy in a mask anyway. So we, to me, it's more or less a, stra a, a slasher, but just obviously pretty much just called demon but i guess that's um the same as kind of freddy krueger to a certain degree so if you want your slash fix then this may be the, the, the kind of the movie for you it also kind of harkens back to those days where you have the kind of like the big boob girls they're all pretty and the kind of like pretty much there as kind of cannon fodder there's obviously the gratuitous sex scenes so it really does uh, remind me of the kind of the glory days of the slasher film genre um, I actually have to say, I kind of quite like some of the characters here as well. Uh, my favourite was a guy, the guy called Travis by Justin Arnold. And he was just kind of like this douchey kind of guy. But he was kind of fun, i got to say. Um, he was probably my favourite character, although he's not a, a huge part of the actual, uh, the actual movie itself. But I still quite liked some of the other characters as well. Even though they were kind of somewhat cliche, I still kind of had fun with them. It, it, it is a fun film, I, I will say. First of all, it's just a kind of a fun slasher film. But onto the negatives, this film makes zero sense when you kind of try and think about it logically. I would even go as far as to say the first 15 minutes, which basically has a kind of almost a double intro, is completely nonsensical. And I'd actually say don't watch those first 15 minutes because I feel they really were poorly, poorly put together. And then basically we just have a kind of, uh, you know, a typical film where we have the people falling into the cliches, making dumb decisions um things like that basically so it really is a bit of a lowest common denominator it doesn't try anything new with the genre it really just caters for those fans who obviously like this kind of stuff but it doesn't kind of certainly doesn't push the boundaries i don't think uh knuckle bones is kind of anywhere near like a kind of iconic type villain he's serviceable bad guy but he just seems more or less like kind of jason but with kind of freddy krueger's um quips and things like that so uh, I wasn't so keen on that, and I didn't really like the ending. I thought the ending went a little bit too far in a kind of a typical way. Uh, I wasn't so keen on that. I do, I do quite like the resolution initially, but then it kind of does have this kind of end bit, which I thought, oh, that's just so kind of 
typical thing what you'd expect from a horror film so I kind of in a way I wish it hadn't done that to a certain degree but it's, it's not a deal breaker but overall I would say that this is a fun slasher movie if you'd like a kind of your 80s and 90s slasher films then this really will go into those sort of things it is a lower budget film you can tell it's a lower budget film the acting is sometimes a bit choppy the effects although I so you know there are some quite fun effects and it is kind of pretty harsh and quite violent sometimes it isn't a realistic gore, if that makes sense. That is maybe a, 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 a mixer between design choice and just budgetary restraints. But even so, I still had fun with it. I would say I'd give this movie a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.